Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. The big news for today is that the 95th Oscars have been announced and there is not one but multiple good news coming in for India. One of the great news coming for India is that in the category of best documentary short film, the film that is based on the Kattu Nayakan tribe called The Elephant Whisperers has won the award. In this video, we will be discussing about the Kattu Nayakan tribe, their significance in Tamil Nadu, what is so special about the particularly vulnerable tribal groups and their role in the society, mainly with respect to environmental conservation. Now, as we have discussed, there is not just one, but multiple great news coming in for India. As you know from the movie RRR, the famous Natu Natu song has also won the Oscar for the best original score. But for the purpose of today's big news, we'll be focusing more on the elephant whisperers and the tribe that is in focus here in this movie. The Oscars have been given to the Elephant Whisperers. This also, by the way, is the first Oscar that is given to an Indian production. Now, do understand the difference. We have had multiple movies that are connected to India that have won Oscars in the past. You can talk about Slumdog Millionaire. You can talk about other movies as well. But the award for best movie to be given to a production that is based out of India, that has happened for the first time. That is why it is such a big movement. We have had other winners, for example, the Nato Nato song in the best original score category, but we are mainly talking about the best film category in the documentary short film. This is just a 41 minutes documentary and you can watch this on Netflix as well. This is mainly based on two people, that is Bowman and Belly, both of whom belong to the Kattu Nayakan tribe in Tamil Nadu. The story is based on how they protected an orphaned baby elephant made sure that the elephant is protected from the poachers and the elephant is taken care of. The movie revolves around them and this elephant. This movie was directed by Kartiki Gonzalez, who is a well-known wildlife photographer and it has been over five years in the making. As I said, this is the first ever Oscar for an Indian production, which is itself a big landmark movement for India. Now, the cartoon icon tribe that is at the center of this movie is one of the 75 PVTG, that is one of the 75 particularly vulnerable tribal groups identified by the government of India. This tribe is mainly inhabited in parts of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. In Kerala, they mainly live around Vainad and the Kozhiko district, while in Tamil Nadu, they live in Gudalur and the Pandalur taluks in the Nilgiris. The Nilgiri area is where the tribe population of this Katunaikan tribe is in pretty large numbers. Mainly, they are still involved in hunting and gathering. They are also involved in agriculture of different types. They converse in Katunaikan language, which is referred to as the Nama Bhasha, meaning that it is their own language. It is a part of the South Dravidian languages only, and it is very, very similar to many other languages spoken in Kerala and in Tamil Nadu. Now, this tribe, just like many other particularly vulnerable tribal groups, have been dependent on forests for their livelihood and for their sustenance for a long, long time. Traditionally, it is the forest that provides them food, drink, shelter and even job in some cases. Their primary occupation, as we discussed, is hunting and gathering for consumption and for trading purposes as well. They are known to cultivate items which are in large demand across the entire country, including the forest pepper, cinnamon, berries, leaves, and even mushrooms in certain cases. As expected, most of the people in this particular tribe are not highly educated. For example, if you look at their literacy rate, you will see that literacy on an average is about 25%. So over three quarters of the people belonging to the Kattun Icon tribe are not literate at all. However, the one good thing that you will usually see in the tribal groups across the country is that they do not have preference for a boy child or a girl child. In most cases, you will see the sex ratio of the tribal groups being very, very good. In this case also, as you can see in the Kattun Icon tribe, their sex ratio on an average is 100 or even 101 which is a good thing because in these tribes, you do not see any preference for any one kind of child, which is something that even the other parts of the society can learn from them. The tribal population of the entire country is close to 8.6%. 
among that population we also have a group which are regarded as particularly vulnerable tribal group as the name suggests they are more vulnerable amongst other tribal groups due to which the government of india has a responsibility of allocating more funds and bringing in better initiatives for them it was in 1973 that the dhebar commission created primitive tribal groups called the ptgs as a separate category who are less developed as compared to the other tribal population it was in 2006 that the government renamed the primitive tribal groups to particularly vulnerable tribal groups that is the pvtg do remember all the pvtg are a part of scheduled tribes only but not all scheduled tribes would be considered as particularly vulnerable tribal groups in 1975 The government of India identified such tribes as a separate category and declared 52 groups in 1993 and later on other groups were added. Right now we have 75 of these groups among the scheduled tribes which are earmarked as particularly vulnerable tribal groups. Mostly the particularly vulnerable tribal groups have some common characteristics. They are homogeneous, they have a smaller population, not a very big population. They are physically isolated. They live alone. They do not really mingle up with the other people in the society. They do not have a very elaborate, considerable written language as such. They use primitive technology, and a lot of their hunting and gathering techniques are still something that have been followed for many, many decades now. Amongst the seventy-five particularly vulnerable tribal groups in India. the highest number are found in the state of odisha this is an important fact for the prelims examination as well now the indigenous people or these vulnerable tribal groups they are spread across multiple nations india have their own form of tribal groups but similarly you will find these tribal groups spread across other countries as well every single country has been trying to conserve them because it has now been established that the role of indigenous people in our biodiversity conservation is very very high most of these people live in forest so for them forest is not just any other piece of land for them forest is their way of life their occupation their house every single thing that they have is somewhere linked to forest so they give much more importance to conservation of forest as compared to any other community they also have a knowledge of different varieties of crops roots etc which they can use for their edible purposes they also have knowledge that has been passed on from decades and centuries that has become a part of their traditional knowledge which they have been using for many 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 decades for example when these tribal people fall ill they don't really have access to doctor or modern medicine but even then because they have a lot of knowledge about medicinal plants they know which medicinal plant can they use for their own betterment they ensure that they can self treat themselves not just this they even are very well versed with the antidotes to snake bites and other kind of problems for example i am sure all of you would have heard about the irula snake catcher tribe this year two individuals from the irula snake catcher tribes were even conferred with the padma award by the government of india for their contribution towards the society the irula tribes in fact have been called to other countries including the us to catch deadly snakes their occupation is that they catch the snakes they ensure that the venom is collected they then sell this venom to pharmaceutical companies so that they can make medicines and antidotes of these venoms this is the irula tribe presents an example of how tribal groups can use their traditional knowledge for the betterment of everyone and also get a tradition moving forward they also play a major role in conserving the forest sacred groups means they consider a part of the forest as very very sacred to them in fact it is so sacred that the government of india has also realized this and has ensured that there are no construction activities or deforestation in the sacred groups it is believed that it is because of such groups that india's forest cover is still very very significant if we would not have had these groups who regard forest as so important for them we would have seen deforestation at a much faster pace across the entire country this brings us to the end of this big news video once again congratulations to all of you for india's big win at the 95th oscar awards thank you so much for watching the big news video have a good day ahead jai hind